Hey guys, you're here with Chris and Goran, the Kick Dogs from Pig Dogs once again. Thank you for joining us here, and you're here for your free pick in this Portugal versus Ghana matchup of Group H in the World Cup. That's on Thursday, guys. Still round one. Uh, Portugal is the favorite here. I'm seeing it minus 240. Uh, they are missing a few key players like uh, Diogo Jota, and, and that will definitely reduce their offensive capabilities. But this is still a pretty stacked team with, uh, we all know, Cristiano Ronaldo, but they also have Andre Silva, they have João Felix, uh, and they have a few other strikers uh, that could jump in. Uh, while Ghana on the other side, Ghana has been playing pretty well, Chris. They are in good form. And uh, for some reason, Iñaki Williams is playing for Ghana. Uh, he plays for Athletic Bilbao. He's been in pretty good form this season so far. Do you think he can have an impact on this team? Potentially. I mean, he's had a massive impact for Bilbao, like you mentioned, but I don't know if it's going to be enough here. Portugal, like you said, just has too much quality in this lineup. And I got to keep him keep you know in the back of my head, this is still a Ghana team that really didn't look very good at the African Cup of Nations. They only had they didn't get a, more than a point against, you know, teams like Morocco, Gabon, Comoros. So, you know, you're I think you're up against it here if you're Ghana. And this is a Ghana team. Last time we saw them in the World Cup, I think it was 2014. They only had one point in the group stage. I think this is, you know, Portugal, I think they're a very trendy team to make the final. I've been hearing it a lot over social media, but I think it's for good reason. I think a lot of folks see what 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 I see, at least, and that is, and like you mentioned, there's just a lot of quality in this Portugal lineup, and it's not just Christian, It's not just the Cristiano Ronaldo show anymore. So I, I, I got to think that Portugal starts the, starts the tournament with a win. I don't love the, that minus 250 price tag, though, so I'm going to take Portugal in over 2.5. I think Portugal either wins this one 3-0, maybe even 2-1 if we can get a goal from Ghana as well. But uh, either way, I'm taking I'm taking Portugal in over 2.5 here. Yeah, you know what, Chris? I think that we are way past Cristiano Ronaldo's show in, in Portugal. We we saw before the World Cup started, there have been some sparks flying between uh, Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes after everything that happened at Manchester United. And uh, it doesn't seem that he has a good relationship with 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 a lot of players in Portuguese national team. Uh, I think that the only player that actually uh, has fun spending time with Cristiano Ronaldo is Pepe, because they have been around together for a long time uh, while playing for Portugal and for Real Madrid as well. But uh, we know that Cristiano Ronaldo has uh, uh, pretty much cancelled his contract with, with Manchester United. It was mutual and uh, I think he might come out here to try and make a statement that he's still there, that he's still breathing, that he's still capable of scoring some goals and that uh, maybe after the World Cup one of the bigger teams will still sign him. But uh, like you said, Ghana is up and coming team. I think that they're slightly improving, slowly improving, but that takes time. So I'm not sure that they're quite ready for the World Cup just yet. They might snag a point somewhere in this group. I don't think it's going to be against Portugal. But I think that Ghana might create enough chances to score a goal here. So that will make uh, our pick win easier, to be honest, Chris. Because I will also side with you here. Portugal and over two and a half. We are getting that at nice plus money. Uh, defensively, I'm, 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 I'm worried about Ghana, to be honest. But offensively, I think that they might do enough to get on the scoreboard here. So... Portugal to win and over two and a half, that's going to be my pick for this one as well, Chris. Yeah, we're getting decent odds on. Definitely brings down the, that minus 250 price tag, you know, to something that's, I would I would definitely say is a lot more, uh, a lot more manageable. And I, I was initially looking at, you know, Portugal to win to nil. And that's kind of why I said maybe three nil. But then again, it, 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 you're at, you, do, you are asking for a lot at that point. And I don't know. I was only saying it was the Cristiano Ronaldo show because I remember at the uh, who was the Euros last time, and it almost just seemed like every shot attempt went through yeah. Ronaldo at one point. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm 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 with you, Gordon. I think we're getting plus money on this Portugal and over two and a half. I think it's that's the way to go in this one. Yeah, I think it's 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 actually time for Ronaldo to retire from the national football team, Portuguese national team. Uh, I think that they're actually a lot better team without him. They are more diverse and they create more chances and play better football because when he's on the pitch, uh, every other play has to go through him and that kind of I don't know, slows them down and, and puts other player in, in his shadows. So it's time for him to go, I think. Yeah, probably is. Uh, and, I, and I think you're going to see with a couple of the, of the big players this year's tournament that this is probably going to be the last time yeah. we see him on the international stage. 
that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us here. You were here with Chris and Goran, and uh, you were here for your free pick in this Portugal versus Ghana game. Uh, that's on Thursday, guys. Uh, check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. And, of course, uh, stay tuned for the Parlay of the Day videos, guys. We've been hitting those as well. So uh, check them out. Hit that like button. And we'll see you guys soon with more free picks.